Good day everyone. On this episode of the Snail Housing series, I will be showing you how to establish the vegetation inside the snail greenhouse. And in the last episode, I showed you how to construct the snail greenhouse, something like this. If you haven't seen that, I will be giving out the link in the description box below. So do well to view that after you are done with this video. And also, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel to enjoy more useful content I will be uploading on a weekly basis. Let's go! This is what the greenhouse looks like after 2 weeks of establishing the vegetation. And don't you think to understand this we have to go back to the beginning? Oh yeah, let's travel back in time. One of the major things to consider before you set up a greenhouse is to check if the soil type in that particular area will be able to support the growth of plants. The next thing to do here is to decide which kind of plants you'll be cultivating and to do this such plants must be able to meet some certain criteria. The first is the plant must be a plant that would actually form shade for the snails. That's where plants like plantain, banana or cocoa yam comes in. The plant must also be strong enough to withstand stress and regenerate itself after being fed upon by the snails. That's where plants like potato comes in because it actually a dual purpose. It forms shade and it also um, serves as food. Another thing to consider is that the plant should be self-propagating. Plants such as amaranthos and leafy vegetables in general, as long as it's good for human consumption, can be used to set up um, such vegetation. Some of you might have noticed the difference in the planting pattern. This is as a result of the two different systems these greeners will be operating on. The conventional free range and the cutting method. That's why the planting pattern is different. I advise you plant the cocoa yam, the sweet potato and the plantain first. Then you till the soil before you plant the vegetables. Because in the process of planting the cocoa yam it all, you must have compacted the soil, so it's advisable to plant them first, then till before you plant the vegetable. After tilling and losing the soil, the next thing to do is to plant the vegetable, and this is best done by this or broadcast method. So all you need to do is you get some soil and you pour the seeds into it. No matter the kind of seed you want to use, you pour it into it and you mix thoroughly then you broadcast this method helps you ensure that you cover a lot of space and the seeds are evenly distributed so that they will grow properly after broadcasting the seeds the next thing to do is to water the greenhouse the seeds will germinate in this time if they are viable so just keep watering till they germinate and they grow this is what the greenhouse looks like after a few days of planting. You can see the seeds have germinated and the potato also have picked. So all you need to do is to keep watering and let them grow older. This is what the greenhouse looks like in just two weeks. Please wait for more weeks so that it's going to grow fuller and cover the soil before introducing the snails. By then, you should be able to sustain the snail why you only augment with the formulated feed you'll be giving them. It's simple right? Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel to enjoy more useful videos I'll be uploading on a weekly basis and also let me know the questions you have in the comment section below. See you next time. A peace.